Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of All Things Aesthetics. My name's Lindsay and I own the Lindsay Owens Aesthetics Clinic. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you can get into aesthetics. So we have so, so many people messaging us, DMing us, asking us if we do beginners training, foundation training, etc, etc, which we used to do. However, we have since stopped that due to new regulations. So I'm going to be going into detail in this video of how you can get into aesthetics from a complete beginner, the correct way and the right way, even if you've got no medical experience at all. And I don't want any hate on this video saying you should be a medic only. This is why we're going to go down the correct route and make sure it's done properly. So if this is for you and you want to watch and you want to join the industry, stay tuned, keep watching. Okay. So up until, I mean, well, even recently, to be honest, there are courses that you can go and do that are like a one, two, three day course that teach you in about 50 different treatments to get you into aesthetics. Um, they're CPD accredited, which means the, C the CPD actually stands for Continued Professional Development. So they are not an actual qualification. And without going into too much detail, because we could talk about this for absolutely hours, at the minute, aesthetics is an unregulated industry, which is why there's so much backlash about the, non, the medic, non-medic debate, okay? Which I do agree with to an extent. No, I'm not a medic. I don't have a medical background. I come from a PMU background. So we're not gonna go there. We are just gonna talk about how you can get into aesthetics properly, okay? So in the industry at the minute, there are CPD courses that you can go and train in in one day, two hours, three hours, whatever it is you want, and you're let off into the big wide world on your own with your needle and all your products, and you have no idea what you're doing, and you're just winging it in and whacking it in. Um, yeah, I know, I'm not joking. This, this is a real thing. It's real, guys. It's so scary that this is like a real thing. I think we're like, I think the UK and maybe like one or two other countries are the only countries in the world that allow non someone with a non-medical background to do this so when you think about it like that it's actually crazy i'm not complaining because for me it's you know it's my whole life it's changed my entire life my whole career everything and i couldn't imagine not doing it but when you do look at all these courses and you see you know there's people near me that i see pop up on instagram and it'll be like a brand new academy open and i think oh that looks nice let's have a little look and i'll see that the owner's the owner has only been trained for about a month or two. So these these people are opening academies after going and training and, you know, having like a month's worth of experience. And I just think, oh God, like from, from a business point of view, I've, you know, I've got staff, I've, you know, I, I've trained people. From my point of view, when I see stuff like that, I think, oh my God, that is ag waiting to happen. That is just adding stress to your plate. And I don't think people realise this, especially when someone's got no business background whatsoever. And they think, oh, I'm going to learn aesthetics and earn loads of money and open an academy and it's all rainbows and unicorns. And <laughs> You're absolutely wrong because that is not how it happens. If anything, what this industry and business life has taught me is, and if I can teach you guys anything, it's to keep small you'll see a lot of aesthetics practitioners online opening multiple clinics, hiring loads of staff, blowing up, going all over the world and, you know, living their best life. But you need to remember, with that comes more added responsibility and more stress. And I've obviously witnessed that firsthand and I've dealt with it. And I think now I would much prefer just to have, well, I have done, scaled back everything. I've now only got one clinic. I've got barely any stress, well, a lot less anyway, um, and it's just an easier life. The reason that business owners open your own business is to have freedom. And if you're doing all this and you're doing all of this work, you're not having freedom. But anyway, we're not going into business strategies here. We're, <laughs> we're swerving off. We're gonna stay in our lane and we're gonna focus about the courses. So yeah, as I said, it's a wild, wild west out there. There's CPD courses, which stands for Continued Professional Development, which are 
you know, what CPD means is once you've had your qualification, you are then required to do a certain amount of CPD courses to show and prove to your insurance that you are continually, you know, educating yourself around the area. It's not an actual qualification. And this is where the industry lacks big time. Right, the only qualification for aesthetics that is regulated by the government is a level seven practitioner qualification with qualify slash off qual. So this is a government recognized qualification, okay? If you're gonna go down the path of doing fillers, toxin, whatever it is you wanna do, I would recommend getting a government regulated qualification. A few years ago, the same thing happened with microblading and permanent makeup. Whereas you used to be able to just go again and do a CPD course and get your certificate for doing a day's worth of microblading. They give you a certificate and you go, yay, I'm all good, I'm qualified, off I go to permanently put ink in someone's face. <laughs> I can't even say it about laughing because it's just crazy. Where the councils were changing all of their regulations and requirements and saying, oh no, we're not doing it anymore. Everyone then started to have having to upgrade their qualification to a government recognized one. Um, and this is what the government are saying that they're gonna do with aesthetics. But so I believe it was last year or the year before, again, don't quote me on that, that all of the councils turned around and said, well, we're not gonna give you premises licenses unless you've got certain qualifications. And again, I think this, I think this depends on your council. I know a lot of councils are more lenient. I'm in the London Borough Council, so obviously it's really strict. My council will not give you a license unless your qualification is VTCT regulated. So it's a VTCT qualification, which again is another government qualification. So I'm going to be looking down like this because I, I've been in the aesthetics industry since 2018. So what's that like five years, just coming up to five years now, it'll be in September. So I've got years of experience of me, you know, doing treatments. So when it came for me to do my level five and seven, the training place that I used was called A Training. They are based in Grantham. I will pop their website down below. Um, they've given me a little link to use, which is really nice of them. So for anyone who signs up and joins um, with, the cut, with the link below, gets a free complications course added on, which is extremely beneficial because complications is the most thing that everyone wants to know anyway. So yeah, if anyone wants to join or have a look into it, I'm gonna pop the link below in the description for you to see. But yeah, I wanted to obviously secure my career. I didn't want to have it turn around and go, you know, the government, basically in Spain a few years ago, whenever it was, the government turned around one day and said, I'll ask them tomorrow, no one but doctors can do aesthetics and just like that, just changed it. So yeah, that was, <laughs> pretty scary so I didn't want that had to happen obviously I've got young children you know I've got a mortgage a business I've got staff to pay so I just wanted to secure my career as much as I could um so I contacted a training who are the creators of the level seven that was agreed by the government so I contacted them and just said like what do I need to do what's the process and they said okay so normally, if you've got zero experience, you would start and do like an access to a level four. So which is again with qualify off qual. Is it off qual? Same thing, qualify off qual. So you'll start off to do your access to level four um, and then you'll go up the levels like that. Um, because I already had three years of injecting experience, they said I could do what's called a, um, what's the word? a pre-skills assessment is what I had to do. So anything that I wasn't confident in or that I needed to train in, which actually for me was the lower level stuff because I've done all my toxin and fillers. I don't really, I mean, I trained in um, chemical pills and all that jazz years and years ago, but I just don't, I just don't do them. I've got a girl in my uh, clinic that does all the facial stuff. So we just sort of separate our bits. So yeah, I don't really do them. Um, but they were like, I'll oh, come up, you know, we'll refresh your level five bits, which is your chemical pills and your microneedling. And then for your level seven, once I've done all of my assessments and my written work, um, they put me for a pre-skills assessment. So they basically invited me in, 
they got me a whole day's worth of models and they said right okay today Lindsay your model is Jeanette and she's gonna have da 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 done and I they just literally stood there and watched me with a clipboard um and yeah I just had to basically prove that I could do what I could do and they marked me off and said yeah no you're you're absolutely fine you've you've you know you're fine um so I got in that route so some of my level seven was sort of cut short a little bit not cut short i still had to do all of the theory all of the written assessments every single thing like that all of the tests um you know and such like that but i didn't have to do so much learning practical with level seven because i could prove that i was competent if that makes sense so if you're starting from nothing i'm gonna go through i just i'm, I'm gonna be looking down because i am much i am actually on their website and i want to make sure that i'm getting it specific for you so you've got, so it's back, when you go on the website, it will say your route to level seven. So a level four is either an access to, where is it? You've got aesthetics practitioner level four, or you can do a PMU level four. So it depends on what route you want to go down. All right. So if you want to do microblading or, um, you know, ombre brows and stuff like that, you could choose the level four PMU, PMU route and then go off onto aesthetics level five, if that makes sense. Sorry, I don't want to confuse you too much. So to start off, you would do access practitioner foundation certificate. Okay. So what this is, it's a two day pathway course, um, plus 22 hours worth of distance learning. So there'll be a lot of stuff that you have to do from home and distance learning. Um, and this includes basic facial aesthetics treatments, consultation techniques to be able to plan, prepare for aesthetics treatments, maintain health and safety in your treatment environment, your anatomy and physiology, management of complications, medical emergencies, and path progression to the level four aesthetics practitioner. So this is, hold on, is it? Yeah, it is. So this is a qualifier access to level four once you've done this you can then go on to level four okay yeah so you've got aesthetics practitioner level four which is specific to aesthetics or you can go down the pmu route again like i said and it's still a level four just depends on what you want to learn once you've done that and you've got your level four this is where it starts to get a bit difficult so then you go on to your level five and seven the level five is based on chemical pills and microneedling at a medium depth with microneedling, you've got superficial, medium and deep. You'll never, ever, ever do deep. A deep chemical peel is something that is done under anaesthetic. Only doctors can do it. Um, and in America, some, you know, derm is it dermatologist or something like that? Do it. But you're, it's, it's surgery, basically. They're basically pulling off the top layer of your face. So you will only do, as an aesthetics practitioner, superficial and medium. So this covers you at a medium level. So that includes your assignments from home, your distance learning and coming into the clinic, learning your practicals and doing your practical assessments as well. And then you go on to your level seven. So this is where it gets interesting and you can start doing your filler and your toxins and, you know, all that jazz, skin boosters. I don't think skin boosters is included in the level seven. I think you can do that as an extra. But yeah, you do your fillers and your toxin. And once you've done that and you've done all your assessments and everything, that will give you the full qualification. As I said, this is backed by the government. It's done, it's registered, it's recognised by qualifier and it's an off-qual regulated qualification. I think I've got that around the right way. Probably not. <laughs> but it's a government recognised qualification. So there are rumours, you know, it's been in the pipeline for absolutely years and years and years. Um, there are rumours that in june this year so as uh, this month now as i'm talking they the government are going to release more information about what they require from premises licenses so again the same as what they've done with pmu in the past um when they brought out the license it, you, but basically with pmu you had to have a license for the premises you was working in and for a license for you as a practitioner when the councils started getting funny with qualifications they basically just said, well, we're not going to give you a license unless you've got a certain qualification. This is what is going to happen with aesthetics. So there's still going to be CPD courses out there. However, the councils are more than likely going to say, 
we're not going to give you a premises license unless you've got a certain level of qualification. So there is no point in you booking as a newbie to do a two or three day pathway course with somebody um, for then in a year's time or whatever it might be, the council turn around and say, well, actually, that's useless. You're going to have to start from scratch and go again. Because to do, when I went into my level five and seven, sorry, I don't want to keep jumping back and forth. But when I went into my level seven, they said I could do a pre-skills assessment to show I'm competent because I have a minimum of three years experience. So unless you've got three years of experience doing the treatment and your certificate is backdated for that long, you will have to start from scratch. So please don't waste your money on CPD courses anymore. For masterclasses, for anyone who's already learned and they're just trying to upskill, that's absolutely fine. They are still, you know, approved by the insurance companies. But this is to get you into the industry at all. So you need to start with a level seven. There are other companies out there. Um, so if Grantham is not near you, I'm from... Well, I'm on the I'm on the border of London and Kent, so there are another couple of companies that have opened up recently local to me. However, because I have done my level five and seven with A training, you I can I cannot fault them. The the standard that they train in is second to none. It is insane, and I, anyone I've spoken to, I've said the same. Once you've got once you've gone there once to do a course, you'll never ever go anywhere else to learn anything ever again. Because as I said, the standard's just so high and it's just amazing. Like that, You have to go to experience it basically. It's just second to none. So yeah, I hope that's cleared it up and I hope I haven't jumbled on. Because <laughs> there's so much to cover, but I just want to, I wanted to give you guys an insight as to what the industry is like and why these qualifications are so important now. Obviously, I don't want you wasting your money because I used to train beginners um, up until the beginning of this year and then I stopped. Mainly because one once I'd done my level five and seven, I was a bit like, the standard needs to be really raised here. Like from what I learned, it took me two years and it's the level seven is the equivalent of a master's degree to put it into perspective. So that's the level of standard you're learning at, which makes sense because doctors and nurses, you know, are learning at that sort of level. So it makes sense that we should be as well. Um, yeah, if anyone's got any questions anyway, please pop them in the comments below because I know there's so much to talk about within this, you know, whole area, but I could sit here for days and go on. So yeah, pop your comments below. I'll pop the link to A training in the description below. And if there's anywhere, if you're like really far away or you don't know where to go, just ask me. I can give recommendations of clinics that are now offering the level five and seven. I am not offering this at the minute. Um, I choose the stress-free life because um, I've got kids. I'd rather just, you know, qualify myself, do my treatments and go home at the end of the day. I don't want the stress. So no, I don't offer this. I might do in the future when the kids go to school, who knows? But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I hope it made sense. Please subscribe, like this video um yeah as i said if you've got any questions please ask me and please follow my instagram my facebook and my tiktok accounts which are all at lindsay Irons aesthetics and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a lovely day i'll see you next time guys bye